works. Oh, dude, this shit feels great. This could have been worse. You know, I could have actually caught on fire. Fast guy car. Let's go. It's stuck, officer. It's stuck. Welcome back to another video. So as you see with the title, this is not clickbait. My car actually did almost catch on fire. I'm about to show you guys in a minute. It's over here at my friend's shop. So um, we got it on the lift and I'll show you guys why, um, why I say that. So we got the car on the lift right now. Going up slowly. See, we got a guy welding over there because we're gonna need it for what's wrong. All right, so basically, oh shoot, I have an exhaust leak coming out of right here. There's like a pretty big hole in the flex pipe, and it was pretty much melting away. These lines are here, and these are fuel lines, so that could have been pretty bad. As you can see, like you got the to that this is like the plastic like melted off so basically you're just about to take this pipe off and then you know get rid of the flex pipe so could have been pretty bad well, low key. and there's also a leak coming from right here because this so i broke this clamp again i ordered one it should be here today so come back and fix that Oh yeah, and that that V band clamp was messed up. Coming from right here, I don't know how it got smashed. But so basically, um, this is an exhaust from another car that they had, you know, just chilling over here because they have a lot of spare parts and stuff like that. So basically, we just cut out, um, you know, the piping right there because we're gonna hear this. It's rolling to me. So we're gonna replace the flex pipe so basically you're just gonna weld it like that so that way you know this won't happen again and you know i won't be burning any more fuel lines or melting them together basically because that's kind of what happened and for all for other people who run this turbo kit i would suggest to do the same thing or like you know just do like a flex pipe delete on this pipe right here because Last night, I actually wasn't even able to hit boost, like, just because this leak was so bad. Like, my car wasn't hitting boost at all. And, you know, that's not good. So, I would suggest that you do a flex pipe delete on this pipe. Like, for sure. This could have been worse. You know, I could have actually caught on fire. As you can see, like, it's just burning up the whole thing. Like, this harness low-key started getting burned. It's not that bad but you know it could have been worse so just giving you guys a heads up on that you know make sure that you delete the flex pipe if you run the same kit which is the turbonetics kit the rev 9 turbonetics kit Oh yeah. That's literally perfect, jeez. 
Okay, we're gonna have to shave the inside a little bit. Okay, I got the scales. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we're gonna have to shave the inside a little Hopefully you guys can hear me, you know, in this video because it's kind of loud over here. Um, but yeah, so this is the gasket that was coming from the header to, you know, the charge pipe. Obviously, it's, it's done. There's nothing you can do with that. It's over. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get another gasket. So I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering, you know, what happened. So basically, um, what had happened was I was on the way home i was you know just i was hitting boost i'm not gonna lie i was you know going i was just having fun with it and um a 350z pulled up on me and you know he wanted to run it so we ran it it was a de but you know the run was actually pretty close and obviously it's not supposed to be if i'm boosted and he's in a so um at that point i knew something was wrong like the car wasn't hitting boost the exhaust leak sounded like it got even worse but it was coming from you know the other side of the car this time so um Obviously, I knew something was wrong, and I hit up George, and I came through to his shop, and that's what we found. And also that, you know, from it being blown, the fuel lines were in the way right there. So, obviously, if fuel and heat, you know, get together, that's not good. And the car, obviously, well, the car could have blown up, but, you know, we survived. I survived. Thank God. Looking out. But, yeah, that's what happened. Uh, Make sure you leaks right here. And then I think I'm gonna do a double pass. Yeah, because the boost is probably. Yeah, gonna there's gonna be a lot of fucking pressure right here. Especially since it's in the elbow. Alright, so I'm whipping the beamer right now. The 335i. But um I went and picked up these gaskets for the header. You know, like from the header, the one that was blown, whatever. So got those. I'm driving the 335i right now because he just picked up his other car, the S2K. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and install this and then hopefully that would be that. I haven't got my clamp yet for the V-band, but that's supposed to be coming in hopefully later on. And, you know, I'll put that on too so I have no exhaust leaks. All right, so it's all welded up. Again, it's this pipe right here that, you know, connects to that. So, you did a pretty good job welding it. I mean, it'll hold up. So. Alright, so I just started it up. The leak is fixed, except for, you know, this one right here. Because I don't have the clamp yet, but it's all good. What's going on, Mr. Damon? Finally fixed all the leaks. Ah! About to test it out. Ah, no more leaks. Hopefully, huh? Still have one leak. Like that curve. <laughs> what you mean you're saying I can't? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah. Go more. Do like. Oh, you can't even tell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, this shit feels great. What the hell? Way better. Dude, after we fix that other one, holy shit, it's gonna feel even better.
Sheesh. All right, guys. So this is pretty much the end of the video. All the boost leaks and the exhaust leaks are fixed now. So she's pulling even harder than ever. The only thing left to do now really is to, you know, heat wrap and make sure that the heat stays away from those fuel lines. But it shouldn't really be an issue now that the flex pipe is deleted and, you know, I would never have a leak like that again. So it should be okay for now, but I'll go ahead and I'll heat wrap it at some other time. Shout out to my boy George and, you know, everybody else at the shop for helping me out. Letting me use the lift and, you know, fixing my issues. But yeah, so this is pretty much in the video. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Make sure you like, sub, comment, all that. And I will see y'all in the next video.